It's a cold autumn morning and I'm just about to go out to the sauna for the record fair. Join me. Time to go home. Hello YouTubers! Just thought I'd show you what I found today at the record fair in Solna. Uh, I was quite happy about it. Uh, I found many interesting records and well, I left with a bag full and with an empty wallet. So that's a good sign. Um, bought 11 records and uh, some of them uh, I've been looking for and others are well I let's start by just showing them I think first of all I found a lovely British issue on the London label I have a soft spot for these uh, UK pressings of American pop music and this is a uh, the original was a monument, so can you guess who who's on this? Well, it's a mono LP from the mid 60s. It's Roy Orbison with Oh Pretty Woman on the London label, but it says also both monument and London on the on the sleeve and on the label. So but London Records issued lots of good American pop music that were licensed to that label. And of course, uh, on the other hand, uh, they, uh, the American issues of uh, Rolling Stone's Decca uh, recordings were issued in the United States on the London label. It's a, it's a very weird affair there. Um, glad I found it. It looked very nice. Over to a record that I've, I've had a newer, less interesting pressing. And I've also, I also have it on CD, but it's one of my favorite records with this artist. It is my favorite record with this artist, although I have not really a super duper fan and I haven't heard all of his albums. But I'm talking about Van the Man, Van Morrison, Moon Dance from 1970. Uh, I heard it first time maybe 20 years ago on a CD uh, version. I found it quite boring. 1980s pressing that seems to be gone i can't find it i was actually looking for it for for a couple of months but it seems to be I, either i i've given it away or got rid of it or maybe it's just on the wrong place in the collection but i i, I think i would have found it by now um, but uh, anyway so i got myself and this is a german pressing from I think it is uh, one of the first pressings. It's uh, the it's on Warner Brothers, but it's like a tell deck uh, pressing from 1970 with a green label. Um, right. Uh, I realized I don't have that much by the great band Humble Pie, even though I'm a big fan of the the singer Steve Marriott. Uh, but I managed to get hold of a Japanese. 
pressing of uh, their album Smoking from 1970-something. Uh, I think it's... I think it is from 72, 73, something like that. Uh, this is, though, a <laughs> later 1980s pressing. Still a Japanese pressing, though, with the o OBI strip. Uh, but, as you can see, it has a typical 1980s A&M label. The original was more like, well, tan beige or something. Uh, another Japanese pressing of an album that I've weirdly enough hasn't had before uh, it's ABBA and what album do I haven't I had before well it's the their Spanish album album Gracias por la Musica which is um, a compilation for the Spanish market with Spanish language versions of some of their biggest um, successes uh, like Thank You for the Music uh, gimme 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 is dame 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 Fernando of course uh, that's already Spanish as well as hasta mañana and chiquita and mamma mia well that's more Italian isn't it anyway it's very nice it's uh, in sweet red label uh, red vinyl of the Discomate label that's what I was going to say um, haven't had this before so it's fun to Fun to find. I think the Swedish version wasn't even uh, issued on Polar, if there if there was a Swedish version. But I've, I've seen it, but it was on the Septima label. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's a Spanish label, but I've seen Swedish uh, issues on the Septima Records label. But I'm not sure if it's even the same one. Anyway, let's move on. Well, here's a soul classic, and it's another British... Uh, pressing of uh, American soul classic. Uh, it's Fontella ba Bass or Bass. I'm not sure how, how you pronounce it. Fontella Bass or Fontella Bass? Not sure. But her breakthrough uh, song or the, her most famous song, Rescue Me, the new look, uh, Fontella Bass. And this is a slightly different cover than the American original because in the of the original, it's a, like a white sleeve with a photo with her in full figure, but here it's more like a portrait photo. I think this is much better, actually. Um, it's on the chess label. <laughs> uh, it's uh, distributed by Pi Records, though, so, and it has these lovely, lovely sleeve. Yeah, great to find. And uh, uh, again, I have a soft spot for. <laughs> UK pressings, uh, UK 60s pressings of American pop music and soul music. Right, let's continue. Uh, let's go to France, where another favorite. I've started enjoying her more and more and even respecting her more, more and more for what she managed to do with her quite small voice. I'm talking about Jane Birkin, and this is X fan the 60s from 1978. She looks a bit gloomy here in the red sweater, but um, and you might uh, understand, or, or you, of course, it's Serge Gainsbourg uh, who's written the music and written the lyrics, and also is the producer, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, from 1978. Not sure if this was the last uh, collaboration with Serge Gainsbourg. I'm get. I'm not sure. I should have checked that up before I started making this video, but um, I think they made f like four or five albums together, uh, and uh, this is one from 1978 of the Fontana label. Okay, over to a couple of reissues, or well, not originals from the time. One with the Swedish band Meki Mark Man. And this is an album that has been around since, well, it was recorded in the late 60s uh, with the great Meki Budemark, singer and organ player, and the uh, well, almost legendary Thomas Gartz, Thomas Mera Gartz uh, on drums. Uh, and uh, this album was issued on Philips in Sweden in the late 60s. Uh, this is a later reissue from 
think it's maybe from this year or maybe the year before. It's on the Absent, uh, Absent uh, Records label. It's a French reissue of a Swedish 60s pop record that's very sought after. Um, I haven't managed to find an original, but I was happy to find this uh, reissue. I haven't listened to it yet, so I don't know the quality of it, but still. Mackie Markman. And speaking about Sweden, we have here The Nice, live in Stockholm, December 1967. One of these uh, un unofficial issues. It's a recording from uh, live at Konserthuset, Stockholm, uh, 14th of December 1967. Excellent quality radio broadcast, as it say on the sleeve. And it's very colorful and lovely sleeve, and it's on the Made Avail label a British record company uh, I haven't listened to this or any of my uh, records I found today because I thought I would like to show them to you first but um, uh, so I don't know about the quality but if it if they say it's good great quality from the Swedish radio then well if if well if the tape has been kept in good order during the years I'm sure it, this has good sound and over to Another reissue, well, the Mackie Markman was, was a reissue, and this is another one. Uh, the Crystals, Twist Uptown, that's a reissue of their first album, I think. Um, produced by Phil Spector, the man we all hmm, have our opinions about. Um, and I think it's, yeah, it's their first album, it's a reissue on the Rumble Records. Uh, from nine, uh, from 2016. One thing that uh, I find interesting here, when they present the members of the Crystals with a first name and age, they were uh, like 16, 16 and 17 years old, so back then. So a very group of very young girls. You can't really imagine that they were so young, the pop stars back then, and maybe in a sense they still are today. Well, maybe not these pop stars, but the pop stars of today, but you don't really think about it. Uh, well, they went on, on to have quite a good number of hits in the 60s, produced by uh, Phil Spector. And uh, this is a reissue, as I said, of their, I think it's their first album. And over to one of the Birds albums that I didn't have, Younger Than Yesterday. It's an American pressing. It's not an original though it's from I think it's from 1971 because they, they have this typical um, um, 1970s uh, label Columbia label but uh, in thick nice cardboard and thin vinyl as was quite common back then uh, I think I have most of the of the other early birds albums no no originals though but who cares <clears throat> oh, but and um, last, this is my the the finding I was most happy about, because this is an um, old original from the time, and it fills a gap in my collection. And I'm talking about Soul Dressing by Booker T and the MGs, which I think is their second or perhaps third album. Not really sure. Of the Stax label, uh, the early Stax issues had blue labels. Uh, then like grey and I think this was like a third edition from 1965 uh, it has a the more common yellow uh, label um, but uh, it's it's recorded 64 and was originally issued uh, 64 this is I think I think from the, uh, 1965 American pressing in great condition and a record that I've been looking for and hoping to find because the seller who sold me this, I've managed to find some other uh, very nice uh, Booker T and the MGs albums um, during the years from from uh, well from his table from his desk where he's selling re selling records. So um, I had some idea that I, this I would find this sooner or later, even <laughs> that I would find it at at his table, and I did actually. So well. That's all for today, and I hope you all had a nice day, and uh, I hope to see more videos from the Solna Record Fair 
of the well that took place today on September 28th yeah 28th 2018 and uh, thanks for watching and have a great time and bye bye